It's Jack Flaherty back in the rotation. Yeah, he's making his first starts in two weeks since Anaheim. Probably one of his worst starts of the year where he went five and two thirds innings, giving up five runs against the Angels. Stephen Kwan has been quiet in the series generally with the exception of that run of three straight hits. It's fluid what the pitch count will be, but because he hasn't been pitching in a major league ball game for the time span you mentioned, it could be a shorter outing rather than longer one. One will find out as Riley Green makes the catch on the third pitch of the ball game for out number one. One and one. And it's tapped over the mound. Flaherty doesn't get a piece, and that's good news for Javi Baez. So if pitch count is a question today, six pitches for two outs is a pretty nice economical start. There is once again the All Star Jose Ramirez, who got intentionally walked three straight times. I think you're right, Dan Petrie. Slider, strike three. Spencer Howard is making his first start for the Guardians since being acquired for cash considerations. Wenzel Perez will lead it off. On the ground, up the middle. Sliding play by Jimenez, not in time. Nice play by Jimenez to get to that ball and then slides to the beat. Can't quite get as much on that throw. The number for Colt Keith is very impressive. He's four for 10, even though he was pinch hit for last night for an Andy Ibanez home run. Swing and a miss. He gets his first strikeout in a Guardians uniform and the first out here in inning number one. Will Perez run here? Let's find out. Three and two with one out. There he goes. It's strike three. Throw down to second is a little bit high, so it is a stolen base for Wenzel Perez, and the Tigers have a runner at second with two down. Well, here is Riley Green. Three for 12 in the series, including a double. Riley Green tattoos this ball into right field, end of the bat shot, and that's down for a hit. Throw coming to the plate, not in time. And Riley Green kind of corkscrews one into right for an RBI single in the Tigers' lead again. Well, they have not gone in order in any of the four games in the series in the first inning. Slow roller to second, quick release. Inning over with any type of pitcher. There's a fly ball hit to left field, well struck. Back goes Quan at the wall. He reaches up, makes the catch. He impacted the wall and hung on. With him in the one spot this year as Gio Urshela sends this ball into right field for a one-out single. We still have a lot of games to play. Javi Baez ambush, base hit to left, two on, one out. Javi's too good of a hitter to let that one go and smoke that. Perez had a base hit and scored the game's only run in the first. And then he made him pull that one ball four, a changeup that missed, and the bases are loaded for Colt Keith. And now he's 3 1. It'll be interesting, you know, does he kind of go with an approach to take his base hit to left? Way up yeah. and out, ball four. And that walks in a run. Spencer Howard back to back two out walks to force in a run. And now you're getting into the heart of the order with a number three hitter Matt Veerling coming to the plate. First pitch ripped oh. third base side. What a play by Schneeman. Save. And the Tigers lead three to nothing. What an effort by Daniel Schneeman. Guardians are going to challenge the play. So now he has the ball when he makes contact with the base. After review, the call on the field is confirmed. The runner is safe. You do have to have the ball through the play. Bo Naylor hitting 300 over the last 18 games. Drilled to deep right field. Stay up ball. And it's got a home run. Bo Naylor with his sixth of the year gets Cleveland on the board here in inning number three. Jack Flaherty had retired seven straight to start his day and then a line drive home run to right off the bat of catcher Bo Naylor. Catcher Carson Kelly hitting fifth leads off the Tiger third three to one. He's taken two of the first three from the Guardians. Carson Kelly it's a fly ball left field. Kwan going back looking up gone. There's that run back. Even it out, you say it's 4 1. Carson Kelly jumped on a fastball and did not miss. Number seven, and the Tigers take a 4 1 lead. Or two walks in the inning, and Brennan will bat. With two outs, just to settle him down and refocus, just through the fact that he's, you know, walked 14 all year and two in, in the same inning. That'll just tell you how odd that is. To shortstop. Baez ends the inning. Jack Flaherty bounces back, gets the third out. Fourth walk for the Tigers, second for Keith. Veerling's one for two with an infield single. He pulls it into left field. Quan is back, and Stephen Quan watches that ring over his head. Veerling has extra bases. 
Second and third, nobody out. So Riley Green steps in, infield in for the Guardians, who are hanging on to this one by a thread. Towards short, and through! A flare into left. Quan gives everything the throw, not in time. Green into second base, it's 6-1. Because it's infield in, and Riley Green was able to just fist this out of the reach of Rocchio. This has been an impressive start, Andy. Third base side, it's a long run, and eventually caught. What a running grab by Zach McKinstry. My goodness, off the bat, I didn't think there was any way he'd get there. One down, here's Jose Ramirez, strikeout lineout, switch hitter batting left handed, DHing. Riley Green in the sunlight this time for out number two. So they wanted just a little bit less in six full innings and to be right around there, so just get this final out. Oh, man. Little emotion and a puff of the fist from Jack Flaherty. Likely the end of his day. If it is, he puts an exclamation point on it. Bases are loaded. Nick Sandlin on the mound. Zach McKinstry at the plate. Not at Not that. that. <laughs> Great minds, Dan. Seven to one, Tigers. That's the second time in this game Cleveland has walked in a run. Bases remain loaded with one out for Gio Urshela. Urshela, fair baseball. Gio Urshela hits the detonator on this ball game. Bases clearing. Three run double for Gio Urshela. Tigers having some fun now. They've got a 10 1 lead. And a four run sixth for the Tigers. And it's officially a route. Well, in this uh, blowout situation, rather than burn through any more relievers, the Guardians will turn to Austin Hedges to pitch the last two innings. Hey, what Look at that. Tyler Freeman that? throws him out. One, two, three inning for Austin Hedges. Austin Hedges' second inning of work. He drives one straight up in the air to deep right center. A long run for Martinez. Leaps at the wall. Made the catch. Is there anything this kid can't do? In a 10 to 1 ball game, he leaped and took a home run away from McKinstry at the wall in right center. And the man who just pitched two scoreless innings for the Guardians will lead it off, Austin Hedges. Right field. The rare day where you can say a catcher had a better day on the mound than at the plate. Show me Miller, too, giving the Tigers a couple of innings, and he's been throwing the bell ball really well coming in getting a win and then a save and now shutting this thing out with a couple of innings it's an 0 for 10 series for Fry who will be going to Texas as a first time all star left hand side McKinstry on the move into foul territory to make the catch and the Tigers have taken the series decisively against Cleveland 10 to 1 of the finale this was not a good start to the trip as the Tigers take three out of four.